An Albuquerque man accused of beating his wife to death took a plea deal today. Under the agreement, Jerome Gutierrez will not be seeing any time behind bars, and the victim's family can't believe it. A warning, some of the images in this story are graphic. Here is News 13's Ariana Kraft. Today we are so disgusted in our justice system. 42-year-old Christy Rivera died in May of 2021. Her husband, Jerome Gutierrez, was initially charged with the murder, but today he struck a deal with the state, agreeing to plead guilty to aggravated battery on a household member with great bodily harm. And it's so disappointing that the, the court cannot see that and that there's so many technicalities that are put in place that don't give us justice. He was sentenced to three years of supervised probation. According to the DA's office, they brought in experts to look at the case and the cause of death, but just didn't have the evidence to prove she was murdered. Judge Cindy Leos agreed. There was a issue with, with the opinions that the emergency doctor, Dr. Tran, had indicated in his findings. And because of that, the case took on this sort of life of its own, um, leading down a path that was not um, supported by the evidence. In court, Rivera's family said her marriage was filled with jealousy. Court documents show deputies responded to their South Valley home in May of 2021 for a domestic violence call. They questioned the couple, separated them for the evening, and left. Days later, Rivera was brain dead. Gutierrez claims she fell and hit her head in the bathroom. His attorney also pointed out Rivera was drunk that night. The physical evidence on the scene showed and proved that she suffered from a, a tremendous fall that resulted in a brain injury that resulted in her death. At his plea hearing, Gutierrez gave his condolences to Christy Rivera's family, but insisted he's innocent. I did not kill Christy. I know in my heart, and Burgundy knows in her heart, that I did not do this terrible crime. The family is irate over the plea deal and wanted the case to go to trial. If the DA could prove that battery, then how in the world are you not able to prove that that was what killed her because that's exactly what happened? Yeah. Our hearts are broken. And one of Rivera's sisters says she worries about Rivera's now seven-year-old daughter, who still lives with Gutierrez. She was supposed to be protected by this one man to give her the love and, you know, the support, and he has not given that to her. He ripped her of that. Ariana Kraft, KRQE News 13. In addition to the three years probation, Gutierrez will also have to complete a domestic violence program and undergo counseling for anger management. Gutierrez spent four months in jail after his arrest.